scales are not reliable. They're not. There are many factors that can affect your weight. And you're not going to find that information on the scale. You can't. If we compare last month to this month. Last month, I weighed less. In fact, I was 136 pounds. And if we look at this month, I would have gained. Okay, gained. You would think I've gained weight. But I haven't. I've gained muscle mass. In fact, if you look at my body fat percentage, it's lower. This month, even though I weigh more, my body fat percentage is lower. And that's because I've gained muscle. So that's why you can rely on scales only. We have to consider many factors such as have you gained muscle? Are you retaining water? If you're a woman, what day of the cycle are you in? Because your hormones are going to dictate whether you retain more or less water. Or are you more inflamed? Maybe you got sick, or you're recovering from being sick, or you have PCOS, PMS, a thyroid problem, eczema, inflammation basically. You have some degree of inflammation. Or if you're a guy, what if you're having problems with testosterone? Maybe it's low. That's going to make you retain more water. So I want you to understand there are many factors that can affect your weight. Therefore, your weight will fluctuate throughout the day. If you truly want to know if you've gained weight, gained muscle, we need to figure out your body fat percentage, your body fat mass, your muscle mass, and your lean mass. Or men, depending on the time of the day, your levels of testosterone are going to be higher or lower. And that's going to dictate whether you retain more or less water. Insulin levels are going to affect this. If you have higher levels of insulin or insulin resistance or high blood sugar levels, you are going to retain more water, have more inflammation, and it's going to be harder for you to gain muscle and lean mass. It's not that easy, guys. This scale is not going to give you all the information. We need to find out our body fat percentage, our body fat mass, our lean mass, and our muscle mass. I can't say it enough. Scales are not reliable. They're not.